What's up y'all? Welcome back to Always Talking with Audrey. In today's video, we are going to be, of course, talking about the continuing drama of Yandy and Fendi and Mendeecees on Love and Hip Hop. It's been so much. And if you guys have not checked out my previous two videos on the topic, make sure you guys go ahead and check that out first. Now, this video is going to be a little bit different. In the last two videos, I did briefly touch on my opinion, um, but I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to keep it a bug. I have a whole new opinion um, and I'm going to just say how I feel, okay? So, in this most recent episode, we seen that Mendeecees encouraged a talk between him, Yandy, and Infinity. In the talk, it was going to be a proposition that Infinity goes out and becomes an adult and shows them that, that she is mature and that she is grown in hopes of building some trust, right? The crazy thing is, as this conversation was going on, Mendeecees was leading the conversation. So he was basically saying how it is important to rebuild trust. And he even said that they, they were going to pay Infendi's first two months of rent. So with that being said, I assumed or when I was watching, I'm like, oh, okay, so Mendeecees is actively trying to try here. This is cool. He's being the father figure. He's laying down the law whatever the case may be, cool. Um, however, Yandy was on the side looking very, I wouldn't say weak, but a, a, just very offset. Like she was not really showing stern, not showing any support, not showing that this is really what she wanted to do. Infinity was on the opposing side and she basically said like, y'all, thanks for offering me a place of my own or whatever, but I really just want a family. That's all that I want. And she started to cry. This is where it went downhill for me. And I was like, uh, -uh. like now I'm starting to have a different opinion. When she started to cry, Mendeecee was like, don't do that, don't. And then he just like left. He left the room. Now, of course, we can contribute this to editing or whatever the case may be. I get all that. However, what she was saying in that moment was, I want a family. I, I, I'm, I have been abandoned before and I am having this trauma I'm reliving this trauma all over again from what my biological mother did to me. And now my my new mother who made all these promises to me is also doing this. And uh, the other telltale sign was after Mendeecee left, Yandy didn't really offer any support. Like, Infendi, I see where you're coming from. We love you. This is what we think. You know, like she just was not coming off as a mother. Now, granted, I know that they have a lot of hurt and a lot of um, things that they have to hash out. However, if you guys go back to the first episode, Infendi made a very big point, and I had even backed Gandhi up in her stance. Infendi originally stated, if this, if I was your biological children, you would not treat me this way. And I thought, you know, in my first video, I said like, no, Yandy loves her. She's treating them all the same. I understand where she's coming from a parent standpoint. However, in this episode, Yandy did not come off as a mother she did not come off as someone that's trying to help and I don't want to bash Andy I don't want to bash any of them because granted we are just looking from the outside in I, I don't know what's really going on we know it was editing however what I do know is there is a child or someone that you call your child sitting on the bed crying and verbalizing to you that this is bringing back trauma hurt pain and that she just wants her family she even said the words i need i need and in all honesty i just feel like yandy bit off more than she can chew this is aside from mendeecees does mendeecees play a part yes however yandy had no business adopting fostering whatever infinity because she does not have the tools to be able to do it now 
Where does she find the tools? I'm not sure because I don't have the tools either. I'm not fostering any children. I don't have any adoptions. However, you, the, statist, the statistics don't lie when they talk about teenagers being fostered and being adopted. They have a lot of um, trauma. They have a lot of hurt. They have a lot of pain that, that comes with them. So you have to be a special type of breed to really really care for these type of children and it's not saying that you have to be extra loving extra soft extra anything because of course if you anytime you want to take a child within your home i hope that you have pure intentions however there is psychological things that need to be done with these children because they have been through so much and if you are ill-equipped you only aid to their trauma and i literally wanted to cry watching infinity because all you see is that she just wants love has she made mistakes has she done stupid things of course of course she has been a little girl fighting for her life in and out the system seeing things that she probably had no business seeing and then she was told by yandy that she was going to be unconditionally loved so of course there is going to be some hurt there and she even said it she said i don't want to be grown in this moment i have been grown for too long she just felt like the world was shutting her out and not one person consoled her and if they did i didn't see it on the episode so vh1 you trifling for not editing uh, for editing that out you know you was wrong Um, but I really want to know y'all thoughts below. Like, I just was just, I I, I just can't even deal with Yandy at this point because I get the, you, you, you laid down the law, you set the rules. I get all that. I, I, I'm not going to, um, go toe to toe with that. However, anytime that you call yourself a mother and you see a child sitting on the bed crying, the first thing that you need to do is hug them. I'm so sorry, but that's just my opinion. Like, I'm not going to let anyone that I call my child sit here and hurt. Whether I feel like they're right, wrong, or whatever the case may be, they're going to always know that they got their love from me, even if they fuck up, okay? It's called unconditional love. And what they're giving her is conditional love on top of already um you know our, her already rocky past so after the episode aired of course more backlash is happening like people are just not feeling yandy and they definitely ain't feeling mendices i don't feel mendices but it's not his fault yandy had no business taking in no child while she was married um or whatever she is with him with other children like you know if you knew that this man was coming home and you have to run all the decisions by him you should have talked to him about this but you didn't and now look so um after all the 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 episode aired a lot of people had things to say so mendices did speak out and i'm gonna keep it honest with y'all watching what he said i was like okay like okay he basically said in his video on instagram that there was a lot of things that we did not see it was an hour-long conversation but due to editing they made it two minutes and that it wasn't right but he also did briefly touch on the things that has transpired between yandy and infinity while he was incarcerated he did say that the dea was involved the police was involved yandy was um, receiving threats now he never touched on what exactly was going on he did say that there were some investigations but he never said exactly what it was and how infinity and yandy was involved in this situation was it infinity's doing he hinted at that but he never really spoke on what it was he said that he wasn't because you know they're trying to heal and grow from it um but the things that he did not say in this video he did not say that he loved infinity he did not say that he's there for infinity he did not say that he's in support of infinity's uh, infinity and yandy's relationship and again like i said before he is just stuck in the middle because he didn't ask for this yandy crossed all lines by doing this because he did not ask for this at all so he's just coming from one point. He's not forgiving Infinity for whatever happened while he was incarcerated. And you can you can tell it's plain as day. Now, he did say that this episode was aired in the past. And I'm just kind of confused because on this episode that aired, they talked about the George Floyd sentencing. That was just a few months ago. 
So was this aired at a different time and they just putting clips together? I don't know. The timeline is all over the place. The situation is all over the place. All I know is that there is a child that has experienced a lot of trauma and I just hope that she has someone in her corner that can really get her where she needs to be um, without, you know, without aiding to her pain. You know, like I, I just really... I don't even know if I said that right because it's just I'm so sad for Infendi y'all I'm really really sad at first I understood exactly what Yandy was saying but now the mother in me the me that wants to break generational curses just I cannot rock with what they are doing to her I just can't so I really want to know y'all thoughts below like really 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 y'all comment below are y'all keeping up with this do y'all agree is Yandy wrong uh, for basically adopting this child without her husband's permission? Then when things get rocky, allows Mendeece to step in and be the, um, the rule enforcer just to turn around and be left alone after he gets uncomfortable like what do y'all like what 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 do y'all think let me know y'all thoughts below please be respectful and i will catch y'all in the next video